Hi beautiful! Today we're making one of my personal favorite desserts, which is the salted chocolate and toffee tart with a dark chocolate tart crust. This has to be my absolute favorite dish that I've made and I promise you'll love them too. To make the tart crust, add the flour and sift in the cocoa powder. Sifting is optional, but I would recommend it since cocoa powder tends to clump up together. We're then going to be adding in sugar and just a little bit of salt, and then mix everything together to combine. We're then going to add just a little bit of vegetable oil and then whisk it until everything has been mixed in together. After that's done, add in the cold cubed butter and rub it in with your fingers until the mixture resembles coarse breadcrumbs. You could even use the pastry cutter if you prefer, and the colder the butter is, the flakier the pie crust will be, so you can even freeze the butter for 30 minutes before using it. Just keep in mind that it might take a little longer to rub it in and incorporate it with the rest of the ingredients. should look a little bit like this when you're done. The last thing that we're going to be doing is adding in the chilled water one tablespoon at a time or until it comes together to form a cohesive dough. The amount of water will vary but I use about five tablespoons in total and make sure that the water is cold. Once you're done with that, wrap it and chill for about an hour. In the meanwhile, take a medium saucepan and add in your heavy whipping cream. Cook it in the pan on medium high heat until it's scalding. You should see bubbles and steam should be releasing. Now remove from the flame and add in the chocolate chips. Let sit for a minute and then mix it in until the chocolate has melted and the mixture looks really nice and thick and chocolatey. Once it looks something like this and all the chocolate has been melted, add in the softened butter, salt, and coffee granules. Mix until the ingredients are combined and it should look like a thick, silky ganache. The coffee is optional, but it does intensify chocolate flavors and you won't be able to taste it at all, so I do highly recommend it. Pour the ganache into a container and then refrigerate for several hours or until the chocolate ganache has firmed up a little bit. After the pie crust has been chilled, transfer it to a well-floured surface and then roll it out into a sheet. My camera storage ran out at this time, but essentially all we're doing is rolling out the dough into a quarter of an inch thick sheet and then we're going to place it on top of a 7 inch tart pan with a removable bottom. It's totally okay if yours does not have a removable bottom as well, just press the dough into the pan and then trim off any excess dough if there is any. You could go ahead and bake those scraps along in the side if you would like, or you could use it in like a mini tart if you want as well. <laughs> done with that, take a crumpled piece of parchment paper and place it on top of the pie crust making sure that it covers all of the crust. Then we're going to add our pie weights or if you don't have pie weights you can also use dried beans like I am. We're going to bake this at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for around 12 minutes and then remove from the oven. Take out the parchment paper and then poke several holes along the top of the crust and this is going to allow the pie crust to release steam while it's baking in the oven and it's also going to prevent it from exploding while it's baking. This is going to go back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the crust looks ready and then allow it to cool completely before adding in the filling. For the toffee, I'm using this simple one ingredient dulce de leche. The recipe will be in the description box below. I have two methods on how to make it. Go ahead and spread out all the toffee along the bottom of the tart shell and make sure that the entire shell has been covered with this sticky toffee. It's seriously one of the best things I've ever had. After this, transfer your firmed up chocolate ganache into a piping bag fitted with a star tip and pipe swirls around the top of the tart until the top has been completely filled with that chocolate ganache. And if you see a little bit of toffee peeking out, like just a couple of gaps, go ahead and pipe dollops in the center just to fill up those gaps. We're finally going to be finishing this up with any additional toppings of your choice. This is completely optional, but I'm adding some roasted peanuts on the top, and that's pretty much it. Chill it for around 30 minutes before serving, and that's it. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!